the bottom of your hearts, lift your voice and let's begin to thank God for the gift of life. Let's thank God for the gift called today. Thank God for the gift called salvation. It is a great salvation that he has blessed us with. Let's thank God for all that he's done, he is doing, and he's about to do. We have every reason to ascribe unto him our thanksgiving tonight. Wherever you are, let heaven hear your voice by lifting up a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our God and our Master, our Lord and our Savior, our Redeemer. We have every reason to thank you, Lord. We thank you for life. We thank you for grace. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your presence that never leaves us, never does it forsake us. You've always been with us. You continue to be with us to the very end of the age. In our going days, in our coming out, you have never forsaken us. You've always been present. Even when we go through the waters, you are with us. When we go through the fires, you have never left us. And all things indeed, they work together for our good. That is why tonight we come before you with a glass some heart, with a heart full of praise, rendering it unto your holy name. You alone deserve our thanks. You alone deserve our gratitude. You alone deserve all this appreciation. Right from the depth of our hearts, from the recesses of our our spirit we say thank you Jesus we say thank you Jesus we say thank you Jesus for what you have done thank you God for what you are doing thank you Lord for the many things you are about to do we bless your name for your church the church of Pentecost we thank you for the gift of leadership you have blessed us with we thank you for our chairman we thank you for our general secretary we thank you for our international mission director we thank you for the executive council members for giving them vision to lead the church to this far and what you are taking them through them to lead the church to very very far to the praise of your glory we thank you for all our heads at the national level at the area level we thank you for the ministers in the church we bless your holy name for the four clergy and their spouses we thank you for the entire members of the church of Pentecost you have been good unto us many are the testimonies many are the miracles many are the deliverances, many are the interventions, many are the things that you have done. We have every reason to say we bless your holy name. Be exalted Lord, be adored Lord, be lifted up. Thank you Jesus. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God from the bottom of your heart, wherever you are, show appreciation to God for all his goodness in our lives. Thank you, Lord. We praise your holy name. We are thankful. We are grateful, Lord. Rona Namakopa. Rena Nemenesate. Hafala Dada Bahandi. Rete Mano Sepa. Hapanda Dada 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 Kapaya. Rete Nemeno Sepe. Hafala Balaba Sabalaba Sabalaba. For his mercies shall endure oh, ever faithfulness for his mercy for his mercy shall endure oh, faithfulness let us wait
tonight service before the lord if the lord does not watch over the city the watchman watch but in vain if the lord does not build the builders build but in vain we're asking that god take over tonight's service from this session through through and through to the ministration may the power of god be dispensed may the grace of god be multiplied we seize in the opportunity to lift up the speaker our father before god that grace will be multiplied that the lord will speak through him and as the word of god comes through him it should channel through the screens and save lives bring deliverance bring healing bring a turn around in the lives of all viewers and hearers commit tonight's meeting that holy ghost take absolute control lift your voice and let's begin to pray tonight's session before the lord there is nothing we can do without you we are helpless without you tonight come take absolute control take over tonight's session have your own way lord let your grace be abundant our speaker our father we commit into your hands that as you brood over him speak through him minister through him let your grace be abundant in a very special way all sessions of tonight's meeting take it over and through this broadcast let it be that many souls will come running to the Lord Jesus lives will be made better healings will be effected miracles will take place the dead will rise again the lame will walk the blind will see we shall see that lives have been transformed and unleashed to go and transform our spheres with the values and the principles of the kingdom take your own way have your own way take charge of this meeting tonight in the name of jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord oh his mercies shall You are ever sure anytime we come to you we never leave the same we thank you for who you are we bless your name for what you have done and we give you all the praise for the many things you are about doing and tonight is one of those nights you're going to do a very special thing and leave a witness in the life of every hearer and every viewer have your own way and let your name be glorified in Jesus name amen
highly lifted high above all other gods he reigns and he is exalted above all we want to read from psalm 97 from verse 1 and then 9 the lord reigns let the earth be glad let the distant shores rejoice cloud and thick darkness surround him righteousness and justice are the foundation of his stone fire goes before him and consumes his foes on every side his lightning lights up the world the earth sees and trembles the mountains melt like wax before the lord before the Lord of all the earth, the heavens proclaim his righteousness and all people see his glory. Verse 9, for you, Lord, are the most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all God. For you, Lord, are the most high over all the earth. You are exalted above all gods. You just want to begin to bless our exalted Lord. Jehovah God. Our mighty God, we bless you, Jesus. Rado Shadamaha, Nibalo Shadamaha, Lord our God, Rabadabalabo Shadabaha, Adi Balo Sikidia Madabaha, we bless you, Lord. Rabadabaha, Shadabe, Le Mado Sianda Badabaraba, Rado Sinde Mahado. Great are you, Lord, great are you, Lord, great are you, Lord, Rado Jesus shall reign wherever the sun does his successive his
please let's be seated. For you, O oh Lord, are the most high over all the earth. You are exalted above God. We exalt your name. We exalt your greatness and wisdom, O oh God. Tonight, we raise these songs glorifying you Yahweh you are our God you are our King you are the ruler of all the earth we give you all the glory we bless your name now and forever. Amen. God and most worthy to be praised. Beloved, we are grateful to God for the gift of life and for the opportunity to be gathered once again in his presence. This is the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, Apostle Eric Yamiche. We are grateful to all those who are joining us on TV. We are on Pen TV. It's all about Jesus. Pen TV, we are on DSTV, channel 367. Go TV channel 214. Want to welcome our viewers on channel 34 on the digital platform as well as those who are connecting to us on the sideline platform. We are in Ghana. We are also in parts of West and Central Africa. We are very grateful to Atinka TV, Atinka Media Village for also partnering with us when it comes to this program. We also want to welcome those who are joining us on our various social media handles. We are on Pen TV GH and the COPHQ on Facebook. We are also on Pen TV GH and then on the Church of Pentecost on YouTube. And then on Zoom, we especially want to welcome our very, very, very enthusiastic Zoom audience. We are grateful to the households that are coming together so that collectively we can have this awesome time that we are about to have in God's presence. We are also grateful to those who are joining and listening to us on Paint Radio. On Paint Radio, Paint Radio is in Kumasi, Paint Radio 100.1 FM, Paint Radio, Yesu and Kwa. Beloved, the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost is sponsored by Adam City Estates. Adun City Estate is saying that you can own a luxury home without breaking the bank. Adun City is saying that once you link up with them, they can ensure that you are sorted out when it comes to homes and luxury homes. We are also sponsored by Next Computers, your home of top-class quality computers and accessories, photocopiers and money counting machines. Once you think about computers and its accessories, and it's all about Next Computers. Lufa tablet and syrup is saying that once you test for malaria and you are looking for the best form of antidote, it is all about Lufa tablet and syrup. EDC. EDC is a subsidiary of the Ecobank Group. EDC is saying that you can save, you can invest with them so that little by little you can become financially independent. EDC wants us to announce that they have introduced some financial product portfolios. They have a retirement investment plan. They also have a money market investment plan. Life must still go on so you can still save. You can still invest with EDC so that little by little you can become financially independent. Beloved, the special service with the chairman 
of the church of pentecost is a platform where god by his kind grace has located and congregated us so that through his word he can give us our due our location and i believe that tonight by the kind grace of god we shall definitely receive a word in season that will build us up and give us an inheritance amongst the sanctified of god tonight ministering to us is the international missions director of the church of pentecost worldwide apostle emmanuel ajemai the queen let's welcome our father all my springs are in thee O Lord, all my springs are in Thee, O Lord. Nothing can satisfy my weary soul. thank the lord for a day like this we want to discuss a topic that is related to the transformation and unleashing agenda and i have titled it precious stones to transform precious stones to transform two scripture readings first corinthians chapter 3 verse 12 first corinthians chapter 3 verse 12 the bible says if any man builds on this foundation using gold silver precious stones so we will concentrate on the precious stones. Then we will look at Exodus chapter 28 verse 17. Exodus 28 17 says, Then mount four rows of precious stones on it. That is the breastplate. Then the verse 21 says, there are to be 12 stones. I believe that these precious stones stand for values and virtues that we need for the transformation agenda. In fact, there are nuggets that we need to travel along with. The priests in the Old Testament had 
priestly garments and these precious stones formed part of the priestly garments bra na ohwe apam dada enu mu no ye wasofutade na sofutade enu mu no sa bohini ana sa bo asumbui no e ka atade no ade ye ho in fact some were hanged on the chest of the priest and some were found at the shoulders of the priest now so the precious stones were to be virtues in the hearts of the priest and then on the shoulders they were to be voices to the lord now the transformation we seek for should be dramatic and drastic in this season dramatic in the sense that the transformation should be sudden and striking drastic in the sense that the transformation should be strong and far reaching now these precious stones are virtues that must reflect from our attitudes so i pray that as you listen to this word that transformation will be a garment to be worn today and these virtues will be nuggets positioned in your transformation garment if virtues reflect from attitudes then i have to say that if your attitude is not a virtue then it is a vice if your attitude that is your virtue is not actually what God wants, then it is an ill to the society and therefore you cannot transform the society. But whenever your attitude is a virtue, is a precious stone, it becomes a voice that echoes in eternity. Now, But I also show you a mystery in Revelation chapter 21. That these precious stones were also used to design the foundation of the new Jerusalem, which is the capital city of heaven that we will be going into. So we can say that these virtues are heavenly values and they are foundational values. But in the New Testament, all these values are rooted in the fruit of the Spirit noted in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. So we look at the first precious stone. Number one is called ruby. Ruby is transparent in character. So that is the virtue. Transparency is the virtue. I pray that your transformation garment will have this nugget. So you can travel along with. Transparency means you cannot or you cannot, does not hide or conceal anything. People know what you are up to. Observers are free to observe. There are no secrets. You tell no lie.
Transparency. May we go with this virtue of transparency. The second, according to Exodus chapter 28, verse 17 and 21. The name of the stone is called Topaz. Topaz was discovered in ancient Ethiopia. Now, Topaz is too expensive, so it was nicknamed cannot be bought. That is the virtue. If someone is able to buy you, then your attitude is not right. So if you have this virtue of cannot be bought, it means that after Jesus has purchased us, no other person has the right to be able to purchase us. So I ask you, have you been bought? So you have has someone purchased your ministry? So Obi Atto. What's the matter? Has someone purchased your virginity? Obi Atto. Obebuna we yano ana. Has someone purchased your virtue? So Obi Atto wabra busu papano. May this virtue go along with you as we transform our world. Empire mau say sabra busu papai and nobody nanti bra yes such a yewi asi. That you'll be able to say authoritatively that you can't buy me. Now obi to me jina hoping ti anka say obi to me ntow. It means that you can stand before God and say that indeed I have served the Lord with all righteousness. That is obi to me jina nyanku po eni maka say you me to me asum nyanku po asim biara eni meho. Number three. The stone is called beryl. Beryl in its pure form has no color. It is plain, simple, and clear. That is the virtue. When you are plain, simple, and clear. It means that you are easy to understand. People do not struggle to find what you mean. As a church, people will not see us as complicated, complex, and composite. But we will be easy to understand. Our doctrine will be clear and sound. Oh, may you go with this virtue. Number four, the precious stone is called turquoise. Turquoise means to glisten. To glisten means to shine with a sparkling light. So as we move to transform our spheres, we must carry this virtue along. We must shine with a sparkling light wherever we find ourselves. Our virtues must glisten to the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Number five. The stone is referred to as sapphire. In fact, Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 26 states that sapphire is the color of the throne of God. Sapphire is transparently rich blue. Blue stands for authority. But authority cannot be claimed. It can only be given. But when authority is given, it must be exercised. Hallelujah. Amen. So, 
Jesus has given us the authority. And And I pray that you exercise the authority as a child of God this evening. Oh, I pray that as we begin to pray, you say that I exercise the authority of God. Oh, I pray that as we begin to pray, you say that I exercise the authority as a son of Zion, as a daughter of Zion. I claim in the name of Jesus. And as we exercise the authority given to us in the name of Jesus, sicknesses and diseases will be healed. Poverty shall be overcome. Burdens shall roll away. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The sister. It's called Emerald. Emerald is deep green. But Emerald means a glowing stone. And that is the virtue. That we must glow. To glow means to express the glory of God. May this virtue be in your garment as you move along. Be a glowing agent of the gospel. Be a glowing believer. Yeah. Emerald also means live coal. So we do not only glow, but we are hot on the inside. We change the atmosphere of wherever we get to with the deep heat from the Holy Ghost. Number seven, your torso and The stone is referred to as Jacinth. Jacinth. Jacinth means to flower or to blossom. We this is a virtue as we are unleashed to transform our spheres we must flower and blossom at the workplaces in their homes in the offices, we must flower and we must blossom. In the priestly garment, Jacinth is number seven among the precious stones. Now, it is Now, in Revelation chapter 21, Jacinth is number 11. But I'm calling to you the significance of number seven. That seven stands for completion. Yeah. We must be complete in the law. Colossians chapter 2, verse 10 says, For we are complete in him. I pray that you become complete in the Lord. And then 11 stands for new beginning. So may you go with this virtue that you will start afresh. You will start with a new beginning. If you are complete in him, and you have a fresh start in him. You will be able to overcome every difficulty. Hallelujah. Amen. I will crave your indulgence to stand wherever you are. We have completed with seven of the precious stones. We are left with about six. But I want you to look at the transformation garment you are putting on. 
and the virtue you are moving along with any abrabo superpower would the air nanti aku if your virtue is not what is needed then it is a vice say wa brabo suno enye papa na e boni dia hallelujah amen and we want to pray to god not just say amwa enti ye be bompa ya kire urade these should challenge the world in which we find ourselves. The environment must be saturated with our presence. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Kondo, Father, we we ask that these virtues rooted in the fruit of the Spirit shall be ours from today. In the name of Jesus. 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 May our attitudes reflect these virtues. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh may your hand be upon us as we move to transform our spheres. May we reflect these virtues as we move along. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name. These virtues are priceless. You lose one. You lose something huge. You may not know the quality and the price of each one until you lose them. Now remember, I said they are heavenly and they are foundational values. In fact, you don't express them, you don't express heaven, and you don't express, you don't have a foundation. So we are praying that our foundational and heavenly values shall be intact. As we are unleashed to transform our spheres. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that indeed we will be able to express this. That our foundation will be intact. That our heavenly focus shall be intact and as we move along all that will be able to change the environment that we find ourselves in the mighty name of jesus help us in this regard 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus shall we please take our seats we move to number eight. The eighth precious stone is called agate. According to Exodus chapter 28, this precious stone has the ability to retain a highly polished surface. We this is the virtue that once you are polished by the Holy Ghost that you will be able to retain the polish and that you will not lose the finish Agate is also resistant to chemical attack. Your values must be resistant to any outside attack. Nothing should be able to penetrate. Agate is also for fortification. If you are fortified, it means that you are surrounded by protective walls. Oh, as you move along with this virtue, may the Lord surround you with his well. And may the Lord Surround you with his fire. Now, 
number nine the precious stone is referred to as amethyst amethyst is referred to as an all-purpose stone it is only in jesus that we can be an all-purpose personality valuable person the world says some people are jack of all trades but master of none but with god you can be all purpose and still be master of all may you be master of all that whichever department you are placed you will be able to perform oh may you go with this virtue number 10 it's called chrysolite. Oh, friend chrysolite. Only friend chrysolite. You can also find this stone in Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 16. Chrysolite means gold stone. So it is precious and it is also golden. In fact, nothing can replace gold. Not just a Gold is gold. David died, Rehoboam came to become king of Israel. David died, Israel so he David died by Solomon, sorry. Solomon became king over Israel. David. After Solomon, then came Rehoboam, David king over Israel. Solomon Solomon Rehoboam When Rehoboam came, now Rehoboam His father Solomon had made golden shields. For the commanders and the guards who protected the entrance to the palace. Now Egypt came to attack Israel and they took all the golden shields away. Instead of Rehoboam replacing the golden shields with other golden shields, he replaced them with bronze shields. May the Lord help us that we will never trade our gold for bronze. May we always preserve the gold that the Lord has given to us. Number 11. The stone is referred to as onyx. The stone is referred to as is referred to as onyx. Onyx represents hoof. Hoof is the feet of a horse. Now the, the hoof of a horse stands for stability. And that is the virtue. That as we are going to transform our spheres, that we will be stable. Stability should go with transformation. According to First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 2, Onyx was referred to as the temple stone. Why? Because it headed the stones that were used to build the temple. If onyx is a temple stone, and our bodies are the temple of God, I pray that you carry this virtue along. That you will not waver in your journey with Christ, but you will be stable. Number 12, according to Exodus chapter 28, that hanged on the chest of the priest was called Jasper. 
no bribiamu no na esen osofo no komu kirosem se yefre no ahwehwebo in fact jasper one word can be used to describe jasper jasper ni din eni ahwehwebo no ye betumi di asemfo ba ko akirem everybody says jasper is attractive obi biara kan se ah ahwehwebo yi e fe and that is the virtue na wey eni abrabo su papa no that you will be attractive wherever you are ta bribiamu ba bia obekko biara ni pe ni be jo ho not in the sensual terms or the sexual terms and yes obi eni jo ho na oni wa bobra boni bi but attractive to attract people who do not know Jesus towards yourself. Nemom usuba and papa ninti nipa ni be ji Christo a owo mu ne ho na wo pu aba ni nchen. That your virtues will attract the world to come and know Jesus. Usuba and pano e be twi nipa am wo be hwe Christo a owo mu no. Oh I pray that you go with this virtue. Yim pa e ma o se ye kwei wo de sa abrabo supai e be tu anam on. That you will be glittering and you will be attractive. Na bribia mu no wo be hren na nipa ni age se wo be ba nchen. That wherever you get to the aura around you will change the situation and the you will not mention your name but they will know that the woman of God is around they have not asked of your title but they will know that indeed an attractive person is here they will not be able to reject you but you will always be accepted and the last stone that can be found in Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 9. So the Exodus chapter 28 verse 17 and 21 gave us 12 stones. From Ruby to Jasper. Ah, yes, I see a fee a born a boarding about the do a shabble. But there is another stone in Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 9. And so you will be a war, do for Ezekiel, whom animal a tip me and sa a yumu and crown. It is also found in Zachariah chapter 7, verse 12. Obey who a war, do for Zachariah, whom an so mu Zachariah chapter 7, verse 12. A tea and so a yumu do me. This stone. Is referred to as the hardest stone. And the King James Version says that this stone is referred to as the adamant stone. In fact, the adamant stone is harder than flint. The quality of the adamant stone is that it is impenetrable. It is compact and it is firm. And that is the virtue. That as we are unleashed to transform our spheres. That we will become impenetrable by the thoughts from the enemy. It means that we will resist the enemies of truth. All the other virtues from Ruby to Jasper. All the virtues that we have accumulated we will not allow the enemy to take them away from us. That as we put on the helmet of salvation, nothing can change our thoughts. We will only be focused on one thing. Obeying the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ. Doing what he desires that we do. We will be impenetrable. By any expression from the enemy. And that we will be focused in our journey. May the Lord position these nuggets in your transformation garment. As you have been unleashed, may you transform every sphere you get to. May people see a difference when you get there. May your transformation be dramatic and drastic. 
may you step up when the voltage is lower May the Lord make you a step up transformer so that where you need to boost the voltage, you do so. And that the world will come to us to seek for knowledge and wisdom from our God. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Mami nye se o Mugi se O Mami nye Wherever you are join us to pray Mami nye 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 Our daddy has taught us this. That the transformation we seek to achieve. It must be sudden. Drastic. Far reaching. And long lasting. And he said that for us to be able to achieve this. We need to have some precious stones. I was saying, yeah, I will be or some virtues. And also super be to back this transformation. Now, agenda. Yeah, in such a yeah, yeah, yeah. And has walked us through 13 of these virtues. Now, I believe you picked yours. Are you a ruby? We are near our boss. Are you a topaz? Are you a barrel? And I don't know who you are. But I want us to pray tonight. Pick one of these and cry unto the Lord. The Lord, let this virtue come alive in me. Lord, let this virtue come alive in me. I want to be transparent. I don't want to be bought. Let your voice and begin to pray. We are Ruby, O God. Let this virtue that was in Christ be in us, O Lord. That we shall be transparent at all times, O Lord. He come in Christ Jesus, we cannot be bought, O Lord. We pray for prayer. We cannot be bought. In matter, let Uri and Dekapata, in the aspect of our life, where we are compromising, where we are selling our body, where we are selling our life, where we are compromising, we are praying today, Lord. The Lord, O God, we cannot be bought. We cannot be bought. He 
we cannot be part of Lord. We pray for this consciousness, Lord. Like the prodigal son, Lord, we come to our conscious. We cannot be part. We cannot be part. We refuse to compromise. We refuse to sell our character. We refuse to sell our power. We Beloved, I want us to pray on this too also. The, the value of suffering and just men. Suffer is the authority we have in Christ. And the other one is our ability to blossom. Oh, we need to blossom. I want you to pray that, oh Lord. Let the authority I have in Christ begin to come alive in my home, in my workplace. Let them know that I've encountered you. Let the power come alive. And let my life begin to blossom. Let me flower Christ. In the name of Jesus, let the words be in my God, let we the flower of Christ, the nature of Christ in our lives, O Lord. Grace to blossom, grace to flower in the name of the Lord Jesus. Allah to kapanta, blessi kalu kate, harote malantona, mashe kalu malanta, harote kapanta wota, mashe rapapa kapa, mito bariyante, mashe kalu kapa, leko rapapa, iko na mita. Beloved, I want us to assess the agate virtue. He said it has the ability to retain its smoothness. Its polished nature. And we are praying that Lord make me impenetrable by the systems of this world. That he said it means that we should have the ability to retain the clean sin that the Holy Ghost has given us. I want you to pray tonight. Say, Lord, make me an agate. Let the corruption of this world not be able to corrupt me. 
in my workplace, in my family, whatever I find myself, let me maintain my polished nature, oh Lord. Our brother Daniel did it, Joseph did it, we can also do it. Daniel, Lift your voice and pray for that oil. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let The Bible says that we are able to say no to sin. We are able that the ability is in us. The agate ability is in us. We pray in the name of Jesus. Allah Let the oil of agate, the virtue of being an agate, come alive in us, O Lord. In my heart, the ability to retain our purity, the ability to retain our purity, to become, O God, uncompromising. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are incorruptible. We pray for grace, O Lord, not to be corrupted by every area we find ourselves. We are We are agate. We are again the ability to retain our purity, Lord. We pray, O God, as we push for the transformation agenda. We pray for prayer, the again by you, the ability to retain, O Lord, our purity, our courage, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We will not be corrupted. We will not be compromised. We will not be corrupted. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we remain compact. We are impenetrable. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are impenetrable. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Let the oil of agate move through your church, Lord. Let the oil of agate move through the pastorate. Let the oil of agate move through the elders. Let the oil of agate move through the church, Lord. In Matata. That we will retain our purity. Aleko tabata. Itoria ne kabata. Le suria ne kabata. Iye bora pata minata. Abuse kabata. Let that ability to retain our purity come alive, O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Abuse kabata. Kusha kabata. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And that is said, another virtue we need is the virtue of onyx. Ye jaka san wo chire mu se super ba ko aye hia eye ni awode tutu bo hene aye fra no onyx ho no and he described it as the hoof of a horse na no no wo chire mu se eye ponko ni bore and that is said that it allows the the horse to be able to stand sa sa bore in a boa ma ponko ni tumi gina pinting you see this onyx is already in us or sa super you no ewe ye no in christ jesus but then he saved us all these virtues were put in us. What we need to do is to pray it into action. And also start to be conscious about it. I want us to pray tonight. Say, Lord, make me stable. I am tired of wavering. This wavering of my mind is over. Uh, I pray for the grace to be stable in Christ. Lift your voice and pray for stability. Father, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Grace to be stable, Lord. Grace to be stable, Lord. Grace to be stable, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we want to be able to stand firm, Lord. We want to be able to stand for you. That grace is already in Christ Jesus. The Holy Ghost is in us, Lord. We are able to stand firm. We pray, Lord. Let the virtue of oneness come upon us. The grace to be stable. The grace to be stable. The grace to be stable. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amarusha Shadabataya. Rebo Bahamna Vitakobo. As we tell you in Christ, Lord. We pray that we will not waver. That we will be stable, Lord. That we will be stable, Lord. We don't want to be like Ruby. We want to be stable. In the name 
our last prayer is that we want to be Jasper. Empire, that will be attractive. And that he describes that you must carry an aura of attractiveness. So when you appear at a place, you don't even need to preach. Your presence, you create a presence that draws people to Christ. I want us to pray tonight. They say, Lord, create that aura around me. Let my life be attractive. Let Christ be seen in my life. Let him be revealed in me. Let your voice and begin to pray. Father, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray for the grace to be that Jesus. To carry the aura of God. To carry the aura of God in our transformation agenda. Father, we pray for the grace of Lord. To fancy us at Christ. Let us carry the aura of God wherever let the aura of a We give you praise, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Once again, our Heavenly Father, from the very depths of our heart, we expressed our deepest gratitude unto you that whenever we gather on this platform you nurture us through the teaching of your word we want to thank you for the message a timely message as this that through our father you have given unto us you have made us understand that we can pursue this transformation agenda only through the demonstration of these heavenly virtues. And so we pray for the grace to live out these virtues. You have made us understand that these virtues were planted like seeds within us on the day we came to Christ. But we have to allow it to grow and begin to bear fruit that the world around us will see them and that oh god they would be attracted to the jesus we have believed lord grant us this grace Amen. that in every sphere of our lives in our marriages in our families in our neighborhoods at our workplaces oh god people will see christ in us because of the demonstration of these heavenly virtues in the name of jesus grant us that grace oh god that by our works and deeds uh, we will draw multitudes unto Christ. Uh, we believe that because we have prayed, uh, grace has been released unto us. And from now onwards, we shall be epitomes of these virtues. And that the world will see Christ in us because we would be a demonstration of the very life of god's kingdom we thank you oh god in jesus name amen
wewe Yesu Manisu baba no stau Praise the Lord We are very grateful to God for another very very impactful evening we've had we are also grateful to our international missions director apostle emmanuel ajimain bequin for such a great blessing he's been to us tonight beloved we are grateful to all those who joined us on tv on pen tv on atinka tv we are grateful to those who listen to us on pen radio in kumasi we are grateful to all those who connected on our various social media platforms. We are really, really, really grateful. Beloved, from Tuesday to Thursday, as our Father announced through the secular, we'll be stepping up the voltage. It is the gathering of the intercessors, the virtual prayer night, three nights of prayer. From Tuesday, the 16th, to Thursday, the 18th, we are gathering to pray. The webinar ID is 9882971136. The passcode is chairman. So from 10 p.m. from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to 11.30 p.m. as God leads, we will be gathering to pray, to intercede. Once you are entering into the system, it will ask you for an email. If you have one, you key it in. If not, the generic one is meetings at gmail.com, meetings at gmail.com. So we want to really, really indicate again that it's 10 p.m. from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We are here. We will telecast it live on Pain TV. We will stream it across our various social media handles. I know that those who are listening on radio also this broadcast from Tuesday would also be live on radio. We want to really, really implore and really, really plead that wherever we are, let us book the date, make time, let us gather around. The agenda is to raise one million intercessors as our fathers have indicated and really want to implore that let us come together so that we can really execute and fulfill our highest form of Christian service. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Let's book our calendars from 10 p.m. or 22 hours. And as God will lead us, we'll be here to pray. We are grateful to our sponsors, Adam City Estates, Next Computers, Lufat, Tablet and Syrup, and then EDC. Beloved, as we leave, our Father has made us understand that God has given us virtues in stones and he has expanded it unto us. We pray that God will give us grace as we step up our voltage to become indeed transformation agents. We we'll hope to see you, God willing, on Sunday. God bless you.